presentation is about stairs. The presentation includes the uh, different kind of things that are about what is the stair, as well as uh, what are the uh, different component of the stair. Next, uh, what are the different type of stair, and the last one, what are the different classification of the stair. So here we are starting about uh, knowing the stair. So stair is nothing but the set of steps that lead you from one surface to the another surface. That means from the ground level to the first floor, first floor to the second and so on. And uh, most typically uh, the stairs is located inside of the room or inside of your building. It provides the affordable means to the ascent and the descent that means for the communication, vertical communication, there are the stairs in the building. Each and every part of the stairs, that means each and every component of the stairs are designed and arranged in that manner so that will provide you the easy and the quick transportation from one floor to the another floor. And it will should it should give you the comfort level and the safety level. As well as uh, that room or the enclosure area of the building which uh, located which which have the location of the stair that is nothing but called as your staircase. So this is the uh, outline of the, your uh, staircase that what is called the stair. Next thing that are the different technical terms because uh, whenever you design the staircase it is too much important to know about each and every component of your staircase. First of all the step. So step is the portion which permits you to ascend and the descent and it is the comprised thing of tread and the riser. Now what's the tread and what's the riser? So tread is nothing but the your horizontal portion of your step and riser that is the vertical portion of your step. So tread is a, that area on which you put your leg, put your foot. That horizontal portion is the tread and the riser is the vertical portion that provides the height to your step as well as that provides support to your thread. Next that is the flight. Flight is the, the number of the steps that lead you in the one direction only. So series of the steps without any interference, without any landing, without any platforms or without any turnage, straight single line of your step that is called the flight. Next that is the landing. So landing is called a level platform of your uh, step. So at the bottom of a one flight and uh, at the flight of a one flight, whichever platform is available, that platform is called your landing. So between a two flight, the level platform is called your landing portion. Next, rise and going. So rise is the distance between the two threads. So vertical distance is called rise and vertical member is called riser. After then the going. So going is a horizontal distance between two riser. It's not the total distance of your vertical distance of your thread. The distance between the two riser is called your going. Next, nosing. So in the thread portion, Whichever portion is slightly elevated uh, from the your riser, that extra elevated, extra projected portion is called your nosing. Nosing is provided for the architecture effect. And this portion is supported with uh, molding or supported, uh, supported uh, inside or beside the nosing that is called your scotia that improve the elevation of each and every step. Next, the line of a nosing. So, connecting the straight line. That straight line is an imaginary line. So, imaginary line that touching each and every nosing of each and every step, that 
that is called your line of closing and this line is always parallel to the slope of your stair. Next, navel post. Navel post is the first vertical member that connected to the handrail. That member is called the your navel post. That you can see in this figure, that first vertical member that is connected with the handrail, that is the your navel post. After then the baluster, so number of vertical members are there which support the handrail, that is the your baluster. After then balustrade, so the combined framework of the baluster and the handrail, that totally framework is called your balustrade. Next, handrail. So, hand, uh, handrail is an inclined rail over each and every string. The string is the baluster, which provides the safety purpose. For the safety purpose, handrail is most probably provided. Next, the soffit. The so, soffit is nothing but the underside of the stair. That means the slope is a given. That is the your soffit. Next, headroom. So, headroom is the clear distance between the your thread and ceiling portion. And that should be around 2.1 meter for uh, better transportation from one floor to the another floor. Next, run. Run is the totally horizontal length of your staircase. I am using the word staircase. So, in the staircase, whichever horizontal distance are there, that is called the length of your staircase and that is the your run. And run includes the landing portion also. It's not only include the steps, it also includes the landing portion. Next, waist. Waist is the thickness of your staircase which includes RCC. So that portion in the waist portion, RCC structure will be there. And the last one of the terms, that is the windows. Windows are provided at the landing portion. So whenever you want to change the direction uh, on the place of the landing, number of tapering steps are provided. So that tapering step called your windows. Next, requirement of the course test. So whenever you design the stairs, these are the number of things that should be followed. If it is following, then your staircase will be uh, give the easy transportation and safe transportation, safe communication to each and every floors. So first of all, the location. So location of the your staircase should be like that, that it will uh, allow you to reach at that portion, that means it should be accessible, it should be convenient and as well as well lighting. So whenever it is a well lightening, so uh, extra lighting is not required just because of the natural light, natural ventilation, you can easily see the stair. After then the width of the stair, which should be convenient that uh, two portions can use that step uh, at one timing only. So, it should be for the residential purpose where there are no so much public are there who is using the staircase. So, it should be 90 cm and when there is a public test, so it should be 1.5 to 1.8 meter minimum. It is a minimum thing. You can provide more than that. After then, the length of a flight. So, uh, as I say, the flight is nothing but the step in the one direction. So, wherever you provide the step, it should be minimum 3 and maximum 12, not more than 12. If you provide more than 12, so public have to uh, take a step, so many steps at one period and that is not an easy transportation. Next, the pitch of a step, pitch, that means slope. So, Slope should be not more than 40 and not less than 20. If it is more than 40, that means the riser or the rise, the vertical dimension will be increased. And if it is less than 20, then your run will be increased. So, it is a not good thing. So, it should be less, greater than, it should not be greater than 40 and should not be less than 20. Headroom. So, headroom that means the height or the distance between the or... Uh, 
uh, between the odd thread to the seal and it should not less than 2.1 to 2.3 meter balustrade should be provided in this tag case just for the safety purpose balustrade is the framework of your baluster plus handrail after then the step dimension step dimension is the step is a combination of the riser and the thread so here it is will be the distance of uh, your rise and the going so rise and going uh, in the ideal condition in the residential building or in the public building also uh, the going should be 30 cm and riser should be 15 to 18 cm and whenever you provide the step dimension the width of the landing should never be less than the width of the step it should be equal to each other and the last one the requirement that is the material of the construction whichever material you use for the construction of the step that should provide the strength and uh, it should be fire resistant so you should not choose wooden material because it's not the fire resistant material next there are the different dimensions are provided so whenever you provide the dimension of the step uh, one thing you should take into your mind that riser should not be more excessive if the riser is excessive then the height will be the increase and you have to put much more effort for going or ascending or in the descending thing so for the conveniency the riser should be a uh, 15 cm or sorry uh, the riser should be the 15 not more than that as it will give you the uh, more problem that's it nothing more than that Uh, different thumb rules are provided. Uh, there is a combination of the riser and a going, and uh, by following these four thumb rules, different combinations of riser and goings are provided. So uh, three kind of riser and going combinations are there: 15 by 28, 16 by 26, 17 by 24, and then each and every combination follow the uh thumb rules that are already provided in the uh, your ppt slide and at the ideal condition if you see for the residential it should be 16 by 26 cm and for the hospital it should be 10 by 30 cm now uh, type of a step so in the stair case different kind of a steps are there it's not like the simple stair you are looking at each and every portion number of designs of a step vary a lot so first of all the filler uh, filler is ordinary steps that you see at the each and every portion that are the at the residential bungalow also or at the commercial building public building you will find out the filler that is an ordinary step Uh, that means uh, typically uh, in the plan whenever you see the plan the typically rectangular portion is the your filler after that bull nose step bull nose step and the round ended step as well as another is the split step this all are the step is the first number of step that means at the starting of your filler whichever the first step is there that design is quite different than the ordinary kind of a step so bull nose step in which the bottom of the flight that means the first number of the steps that is projected little bit outside of your navel post and it it will be designed in the quadrant circle as you can see in the figure the upper figure as well as uh, the figure uh, below that bull nose in the bull nose your totally the uh, navel post is there and around the navel post there is a quadrant circle okay so that is your bull nose step after then the round and the step it is uh, just like the bull nose but it is projected slightly bit outside of the your uh, navel post and it is not a quadrant it is a semicircular project 
So these are the filler, bull nose, anti or rounded step. Next, that is the your splayed step. So splayed step, it is also at the beginning of the flight and uh, at the place of the quadrant circle and the circular portion, it is quietly splayed. Splayed that means it is slightly cut. Okay, in the angular portion. So that is the splayed step. After that, the commode step. Commode step in this uh, the first two steps design. So in the commode steps, uh, windows are provided, which uh, sorry, uh, the, in the commode steps, the curved thread and the curved riser is provided. So the steps in this steps, not the uh, outside portion or the projected portion is uh, semicircular or the quadrant, but the totally thread and the riser is in the curved portion. That is your commode step and the dancing step. Uh, so dancing step is uh, kind of a window, but uh, also not radiated from the common center. So dancing step that means uh, the thread portion is not equal in uh, total steps. It will be quietly different. But it is also different than the windows because windows are the tapering steps which radiate from the one point only. And dancing step is also kind of a window but it is not radiated from a common center. That is a different, uh, the specific difference between your dancing step and the window step. So these are the different classification of the steps whenever you design the staircase. You can provide this kind of a step if you want to provide it. Okay. Now uh, the type of steps, which are the so many different type of steps are that uh, on the requirement of the use of the building or as you can say, uh, it, uh, based on the location or based on the area you have for designing the statue. So uh, there are the straight steps turning stress, geometrical stress, circular stress. Geometrical and circular are the same kind of a stress. So basically, uh, for the, see the classifications of the stress. So broadly classified, there are three kind of a stress are there. Straight flight, turning stress and continuous stress. Continuous stress, you can also say the geometrical stress. So uh, straight flight stairs are there uh, which lead you in the only one direction only. Turning stairs, so that should, that can be 90 degree angle, 180 degree angle, 270 and as well as 360 degree angles also there. And uh, in the continuous stairs, so geometrical designs are there that is quite complicated because whenever you design the continuous stairs or the geometrical stairs, so the design of the RCC structure is quite complicated. So first straight flight stairs. So the straight flight stairs is so that kind of a stairs which lead you from one floor to the another floor in the one direction only. There is no change in the direction. So whenever your hall uh, is too much uh, when there is a length provided is more than to the width, at that portion you should provide the straight step because in the straight flight step, uh, you can also provide the landing in the straight flight also, but one thing is that it do not change the direction. So whenever there is a hall available in which the hall is a narrow and a long at that place, you should provide straight flight steps. In this image you can see that uh, there is a staircase that is the your straight flight staircase and also with the landing portion also. And headroom is also identified in this picture that uh, headroom is nothing but the portion from the your pad to the your ceiling. Okay. So that's the headroom that should be this much uh, to the first steps to the last step. Okay. 
height the headroom should be this much from the first step to the last step it should not be decreased and uh, if you want to provide the straight flight with a landing you can also provide it second that is the classification of the your turn stairs that is quarter turn so quarter that means 90 degree angle so in this type case so you are going on the one direction after that there is a one landing and after the landing you took a turn in a quarter direction in just a quarter turn so that means whenever there is a direction change in the 90 degree angle that will be called your quarter turn radius this quarter turn stairs and if you want to provide a windows and the landing portion you can provide it if there is a less number of area and you want to provide the windows you can provide it so this is your quarter turn stair it is also called l shaped staircase this is the figure of the your quarter turn the uh, right side image is the your quarter turn and uh, second that is the totally 90 degree angle turn and the right one that is the sorry left one is the 180 degree angle turn and uh, right one that is the 90 degree angle turn so 180 degree angle that is called the your dog leg stairs in the dog leg stairs two number of flight are there which are in the opposite directions okay so whenever you go from one floor to the another floor one number of landing is there which lead you from one portion to the another portion and after going through from one flight there would be one landing portion after the another landing you will turn on the 90 180 degree angle and there will be your another row of number of flight is there and uh, whenever there is a sufficient width is provided you have the uh, as sufficient area sufficient width sufficient length at that portion you can provide dog leg step and it is most widely used type of a staircase at the public building also at the residential bungalow also this kind of a stair is utilized next that is the open well stair it is just like the or uh, simple dog leg stair the difference is there is a gap between two flight and it can be a three flight if you want to provide it and it will also take you the turn of the 180 degree angle so in the open well stair the one uh, one number of flight is there after you took 90 degree angle in the 90 degree angle then can be a straight landing or if you want to provide one flight with a minimum three number of steps you can provide it after then another is one landing portion again took a 90 degree angle and there is a last flight that can be a second number of flight or can be a third number of flight and uh, in this typically portion there is a open portion between a two flight that is the open well and in uh, in this open portion if you provide a lift you can also provide the lift in the opening well portion this is the figure of the your open well portion as you can see in this image uh, no uh, second number of uh, tire is intermediate landing is provided not the intermediate flight is provided in the landing just two simple flight are there so this is the your open well staircase next three quarter turn so in this you are taking 270 degree angle turn uh, that is a three quarter turn stair so in a case of a uh, 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 in this case also the open well is a form but in this open well you cannot provide the lift because for the lift no opening area will be there and in the three quarter turn four number of different uh, flight arch will be there okay this is the figure of the or uh, 270 degree angle turn and four number of your 
flight that can be provided after the uh, bifurcated staircase in this kind of a, it is a modern kind of a staircase when there is a big hall large hall with a large area and uh, it is the starting portion of the your building at that portion you can provide this kind of a stair in this stair one wide flight in the starting portion is there and after completion of that flight that wide flight is subdivided into the two portion that will be opposite to the each other so that is the your uh, bifurcated stair and uh, this is uh, most widely used on the basis of the architecture purpose architects design so whenever you have the wide area at that place you can provide this kind of a stair next that is the geometrical design so first of all circular staircase so circular staircase uh, there is no kind of a naval post are there uh, in the geometrical design the, uh, the change of the directions here in the circular stairs in the geometrical stairs no landing will be there no such a landing not one landing will be there so there are on the place of the landing number of windows are provided which will help you to change the direction and whenever you design whenever you construct this kind of a stair much skill and uh, much precautions are should be there while you are doing the construction so here as you can see that for changing the direction number of windows are provided that is the your circular kind of your spiral stair so in the spiral stair just one single naval post is there in the center portion and each and every stairs or you can say each and every windows are connected with that uh, naval post only and each and every steps will be follow on that direction so whenever you have the low traffic that means uh, public who use this kind of a stair is lesser at that portion you can provide it as well as uh, in this uh, construction rcc and steel or the stone can be used and construction is quite difficult and it will uh, not give you that much kind of easy transportation but as uh, you want to provide the architects uh, uh, or the uh, beautiful concept the uh, eye catching concept at that thing you can provide this spiral stair so this is the image of the spiral stairs and it will rotated on the 360 degree angle and it is connected to the one single naval post next that is the helical stairs helical will lead you to the only 180 degree angle and helical is also the kind of different geometrical stairs it look very fine but uh, the structural design and the construction is very much complicated and uh, whenever you design the this kind of a stair with the rcc work so many large quantity of steel is required and uh, that will lead you to the more construction cost as well as the uh, more time consuming also so these are the number of stairs so uh, different classification of stairs that we are going to say that we have studied but uh, in the real world when there are not just two or the three floors there are number of floors are there it is difficult for us to took a step and go to the one floor to the another floor so for the better vertical transportation when there is a number of floors is so much more at that portion as well as where the number of public are using the staircase you can provide the vertical transportation system automatic vertical transportation system so there are the two things that is the elevator or you can say the lift and second thing that is the escalator you have seen uh, this two things in many public area and it is widely used nowadays at each and every 
flat also and each and every public building also so first of all elevator or the lift so it is nothing but uh, to move from one floor to another floor with too much easy conveniency this lift or the elevators are the provided people will move easily as a passenger from one floor to the another floor and uh, when people are using the elevator then it is called the passenger elevator and if uh, material is used for the transportation by the elevator then it is called your freight elevator and where there is a number of uh, and when there is a very tall building number of elevators are provided not only single one elevator but two to three or four number of elevators can be provided and it took the major portion of the your building plan because there should be the portion of the lift as well as uh, for uh, their uh, machinery purpose another room is also required so this is the images of the elevators that is used for the transportation from one floor to the another floor in tall building escalators so escalator that is the power driven escalator so stair that is automatically will lead you from the one floor to the another floor you just have to keep a one step on the escalator that's it and worldwide escalator is too much famous for mainly for the pedestrian purpose so for the public for the passenger only escalators are using so that is the basically escalator and uh, at the uh, principal uh, mainly area which include this kind of escalator that is the shopping center airport transit system hostel uh, hotel building where the number of persons number of pedestrians are so much at that portion you can provide the escalator that is the continuous moving stairs in a one direction only and escalator will never take a landing portion or never take a turning it is only on the one direction only it will not uh, take a u turn or it will not uh, give you the 90 degree angle there will be only continuous one way movement only so these are the escalators and it will lead you from one floor to the another floor but just in the one direction not in the another direction so here this is all about the stairs how many different number of stairs are there as well as uh, how many different classification of the steps at which portion which kind of a stair you should use i hope you will get to know about that what is this stair and uh, do the more work that at which portion which type of stair is is utilized just do the study okay thank you so much